What up? Today's day 95. Um, it's kind of early, but I'm going to go ahead and get the post done. Um, it's supposed to be nice out like in the 80s today. So I might go back to the gym again this afternoon, go ride my bike or something, but I just don't want to read about my post. But I read this quote slash poem last night and this morning uh, before I went to the gym. I wanted to share with you guys. It's kind of long, so bear with me for a second here. Hopefully I don't mess up when I'm saying it. But it reads as this. Um, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to so t- stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. And I found this last night when I got back. Like I told you, I, you know, I'm always just searching for quotes and things to read. And, you know, I read it last night. And it, got, it got me excited. You know what I'm saying? I, I woke up early. I got to the gym like 6.15. I read it again this morning. I did an hour and a half of cardio. Like I just felt good. I felt rejuvenated. You know, I posted yesterday that, you know, I've had like kind of, you know, this change of heart and everything. You know, reading this book, you know, called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. So I, I wasn't worried about what was going to happen when I weighed in today. Like, I, I've known what I've done. I've known where I've come from. I know where I'm going. Um, but reading this just told me, you know what? Just don't quit. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the scale says, no matter what happens, just keep doing what I'm doing. Cause I don't know when I'm going to get there, but happiness is coming. I'm going to get reach my goals, my dreams. Everything's going to happen for me eventually. You know, I can't rush it. Um, so, you know, I did an hour and a half of cardio. Um, there's a guy at the gym, his name's Andrew, you know, he, he was actually on the elliptical with me at the same time. He did it all with me also. So it made it go a lot faster. You know, I wasn't bored. I had no problem getting the hour and a half in. And I went and weighed in. And I was down another five pounds. Um, it takes me to 82 pounds total since December 28th. I'm at like an all-time low in a long time. I'm like 340 pounds. Um, I'm 18 pounds away from 100 pounds. So probably the next three weeks or so, I'm gonna hit that. Um, and I was texting some of my friends. I let know what my, you know, what I weigh in at every week. And one of them asked me a good question. You know, what's my goal for next December 28th, 2010? You know, that will be one year from the day I started. And I really have no clue because like I didn't know how long, you know. I'd be able to lose weight this quickly for you know it's gone it's gone a lot longer than I thought now it is going to get harder at some point so I'm not sure if I ever said before but I'm going to get a body scan you know when I get uh, to about 300 pounds and see but I'm hoping maybe by next December you know maybe about 250 240 who knows you know what I'm saying but I don't want to be too skinny I ain't trying to be skin and bones I want to keep you know the muscles that I do have I don't want them to, to go away so I do have goals you know what I'm saying I have dreams and I'll keep working, but those goals will continue to change as my circumstances continue to change in my weight loss, you know. As I discover, you know, new things I want to do, I'll change things up. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling good today, you know what I'm saying, five pounds, that kind of breaks that streak of that every other week, one pound, two pound loss, puts me back on track. Uh, last week I had a nice number, this week I had a nice number, but I'm not going to relax. Um, I'm thinking about going back to the gym this afternoon, you know. Maybe doing some more cardio or doing a spinning class. Like I said, I just feel good. I have so much energy right now. Like, I never thought that waking up so early in the morning would give me so much energy. So, I just want to check in early. You know what I'm saying? I may post again later, but I don't know, you know, where I'll, where I'll be at. Um, if not, I'll definitely post tomorrow before the state game. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to lift. I might do a spinning class in the morning, too. It really just all, all depends. But you can guarantee I'm going to get my workout in. And hopefully, you do, too. Uh, with the weather the way it is, if you're here in Metro Detroit area, it's a good day to get outside. You know what I'm saying? If you have a dog, take your dog for a walk. If you have a bike, ride your bike. Um, if you want to run, run. Just do something. You know what I'm saying? No need to sit in the house and watch TV. Do that at nighttime. Enjoy this nice weather while we have it. Because you never know how long it's going to be nice for in Michigan. It might rain tomorrow for all we know. So that's all I got for right now. Everybody have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Peace.